This is called meeting to order. Closing up to six o'clock. Yep. Look at the varieties of things here. Um, everybody's welcome. First of all, do you need any changes to the agenda? Looks okay. All righty. Uh, public. Look at this public. Now, we can do public comments now, but if you're here for something specific, you can wait until then if you want or whatever. I bet I know what you're here for. You're all right. And if you'll introduce yourself first, right? <laughs> but it's a resolution I'd like to, to talk to you about perhaps adopting as a select board. We didn't get to do it at the town meeting because right. I wasn't able to get up there in time and introduce it. But um, it's called the Climate Solutions Resolution. Right. First, do you want to introduce yourself? My name is Denise Green, okay. and I serve on the High Park Energy Committee. And I'm here with Marilyn Zofar. She also serves on the Energy Committee. And um, so the Climate Solutions Resolution has passed in um, 40 towns, um, did I see, last year. And then it was, it was brought up in uh, 2019 and 15 towns passed it. So we're up to 54 towns that have passed the resolution. We'd like to make it 55. So I have a copy of it if you'd like to see or I can read it to you. What would you prefer? Well, if you have a copy. I do, I make the copies actually. Yeah, it's, I was it's say that's pretty long, yeah. Can you tell us basically what it I wants I to? I'll give you a copy too, just for your words. So it says, Roland's going to be absolutely right. Yeah. Whereas extreme and erratic temperatures, increasingly severe storms, a rise in tick borne diseases, and threats to farmers and maple sugar makers clearly demonstrate that climate change is one of the most urgent problems facing our state, nation, and the world. And whereas the state of Vermont has a goal in the comprehensive energy plan to achieve 90% of its energy from renewable sources by 2050, <clears throat> yet is making insufficient progress towards achieving that goal. Therefore, be it resolved, shall the undersigned voters of the town of Hyde Park urge the state of Vermont to A, halt any new or expanded fossil fuel infrastructure, i.e. transmission pipelines, electrical generation plants, and or industrial storage facilities, commit to 100% renewable energy by 2030, for all people in Vermont with firm interim deadlines, and C, ensure that the transition to renewable energy is fair and equitable for all residents with no harm to marginalized groups or rural communities. <coughs> um, there's a D, which is an optional part to include, but we don't have anything to include. So, and then there's section two, um, request the town do its part to meet these demands by committing to e efforts such as protecting towns town lands <coughs> from fossil fuel infrastructure, denying easements or agreements for any pipeline, crossing town lands, weatherizing town buildings and schools, enlisting state support to install rooftop solar on town and school buildings, other initiatives to improve residents' quality of life while helping to reduce overall energy use, encourage landowners, municipalities, and farmers to implement practices that build the soil carbon sponge to cool the planet and mitigate flooding and drought. And from a town energy committee to work towards reducing emissions and meeting the goals of the CEP. Um, so I think this one is optional number two, but um, I will leave that up to you if you think that the town would like to add that in. Um, we already have a town energy committee. So. Um, I understood that somebody had gotten signatures for this, but they didn't actually get that. So, um, right. So let me where here's the energy. <laughs> right. Here's the to energy. Ask that <coughs> question. Um, and things that are sort of big sweeping policy things. Um, I don't. I think the reason we take them to town meeting is to give the public an opportunity to speak about it because mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what you put out there, people uh, feel strongly on both sides of an issue. Mm -hmm. um, and when Christine put it, something out on Facebook before, she just didn't get 
the signature is much interest in it at all. She has, she put it on um, front porch. On front porch yeah. for them, right, which mm -hmm. we can tell you from experience is quite capable of getting some very good response, which is terrific. And as uh -huh. I said at the end of town meeting, I think it's a real opportunity to sort of look at things rolling forward. So what I'm going to suggest, and if the rest of the select board agrees with me in this, is that we take this and put it on front porch for them and tell them that we just we didn't have an opportunity to, you know, we missed it. it oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I was willing to go out and get the signatures. Well, that's, yeah. that's but then that's still right would have been, that would have just gotten in front of the public. So we'll use front porch for them to get it out in front of people. Right. And to say, Good. we'll be at Pippin, we'll think about it. And then at some future, give them a while to do it, so put it out there a couple of times, mm -hmm. future time that we're going to take it up on the agenda first thing okay. and people can either through front porch forum or whenever we say we're going to do the meeting they can come and talk to us about it because that that gives the residents a chance to and if they respond with the responding nothing that tells us something too i'm not quite sure what mm -hmm. but i expect by putting it out there and again with and with the energy committee and talking to folks about it that we'll get some good feedback from folks and then that will give us an indication of what the town wants to you know how they feel about it. So I think we'll, we'll sort of use a, a town meeting way, since we missed it that way, I'd say mm -hmm. looking at front porch forum way to do it. Okay. Because it doesn't seem as though there's any particular, it's not as though there's a piece of legislation or any big rush that this needs to be done in the next week or something. Because right. it's, right. you know, yeah. but we can also <clears throat> go ahead and I'll get, I'll get Ron just to copy it. We'll put it out there and say, you know, maybe it then, and let folks know because Everybody's as good as I am at procrastinating. If we say we're going to do it in May, then I'll think about it in June. Yeah, I <laughs> think the real <laughs> set up to do it for the you know okay. for the next select board meeting, yeah. and we'll see what kind of feedback we get. So the real intention of it is to get it done, you know, in a reasonable amount of time, because what they're really trying to do is show the state that there is this many towns that want to see exactly. you take more action. Exactly on that. And, and again, something like this, um, I, don't, I don't think there are only four of us here tonight, but the five of us are, I don't think this is the kind of thing people normally talk to us about. The, the so only I thing, just want to give okay. them the opportunity to talk to us about it. The only thing that pops out for me is how can we commit to 100% renewable energy by 2013 for all the people in Vermont? 2030? 2030. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. about what we as what we as Hyde Parkers can do to what well, can what we do well, to it's on a, a, a wish and a commitment is two different things. I'm not gonna sign anything that says commit. I will sign something that says we would like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is this is an urging the state of Vermont. Right. Is an, is a yeah, urging them. We're saying we want you to, to do more. Because there's nothing being done. I understand done. that, but the, what, the way this is right. The word says commit. Commit. It says commit. commit. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can scratch that. See on that B. Or, right. Right. Write that mm -hmm. Right. <coughs> but again, see, I think that's the sort of thing opening up to yeah. the public that will get that kind of feedback. So we may make some minor modifications and say, okay, this yeah. works. This works for Hyde Park. Okay. Great. Does that sound like a plan? It does. Does that work for everybody up here? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry we missed it at town meeting. That was, uh, I... <laughs> Sometimes the process is like, what? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, this... Okay. Anything else? People waiting for agenda things? Okay, they're waiting for agenda things. Oh boy. Now we're gonna organize ourselves. Okay. Okay, Rolly's not here. Let's make him chair. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, what do we want to do? Are you done? Nominate Susan for chair. Second. This worked out okay? Yep. Mm -hmm. Nobody else is dying to do it? Okay. Are you done? Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Rolly escapes. About vice chair. 
I nominate Dave Gagne. Yeah, who the vice chair this time, right? Second. Uh, Quick. Yeah. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 opposed? Okay. <laughs> How about committee appointments? Things seem to be working out pretty well the way they are. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Anybody yeah. want to make any changes? or? <clears throat> no, we have a list on this slate of officers. So when you look at your uh, to-do list for organizational meetings, you have a couple things which you would have the option to adopt the slate of town officers, including your organizational notes, which include News and Citizen is still the official paper for mm -hmm. yep. notices and hearing notices. Regular meeting schedule, which has been the second Monday of the month. You can keep that or change that. That still works for you, Rob. Works for me. Uh, the only person I've heard is uh, Kim, who it's cuts really close to the normal invoicing schedule for vendors on the 31st or 28th. Mm -hmm. We usually, yeah. we probably got six or seven of them today in the mail that were for February. So for her to get try to keep up with invoices, she'd like it pushed to the third week is all she said. Whether that solves all the problems or not, I don't know. Has it ever been a problem in the past? It's always been a problem. It's a consistent problem because we're, we're so close to the beginning. Even though it's the second Monday, sometimes it's eight days in. And then we, we get a whole we, bunch of in. We used to have it on Thursday. But it conflicted with the wrong schedule at home. So we changed it to Monday. Though. Yeah, she's yeah. asked for a third Monday, which would help give two full weeks of oh, third monday well third any time in the third week instead of the second week so for the end of the month for people mailing invoices out from the prior month we get them in the first week or two usually mm -hmm. and having this meeting on day 11 or 8 well i see yep we're but missing we're missing a the, the third the third week would put it into the next month yeah we we pretty much close out the last month with invoices if it was in the third. For the early disc game. Right. Yeah, yeah, for whatever. Yeah. Would the third Monday work? Works for me. I don't know, we'd probably swap with the planning commission would go to the second Monday. Because they're on the third Monday. I don't, I don't think it matters to them from what I've talked to them about. We'll organize with them on next Monday. So. Or you keep it the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. The only the thing with the same is you would Susan comes in and looks at a whole bunch of invoices and probably half of those would have been caught on a third Monday. But she's I think Susan's okay with coming in and yeah, I, that that didn't. That's the answer to the problem for me. I can remember a couple times you know we've had questions about something on the yes. right, and it's just been because it hasn't gotten through to there. But it yeah, but it's also been no problem to ask him the question the next day and have the answer. And so I don't, I'm, I'm really, um, if it makes life easier for Kim and it's okay with people, I was gonna say it makes the third week of the month completely crazy, but that's okay. It makes the second week of the month easy. Work for you? I don't know. Okay, let's just. Pending the planning commission. Yeah, pending the planning commission, we'll move to the th we'll third Monday. Okay, you better remind me. Starting in uh, April. April. So it'll be April, whatever. <laughs> be April 15th, tax day. Hey. <laughs> then I'll be too busy for yeah. Select board rules of procedure are, uh, have been readopted since their last original 2012, so there's no changes to that. It really just sets up what chair and vice chair do. and. How you have public comment at the beginning of meetings, you know, those kind of things. Yeah, right. We've sort of been doing it the same way for a while, right? It seems to work out. Yeah, right. the, the conflict of interest policy, which is also a new stat, state law requirement, we're trying to get that incorporated into the personnel policy. Yeah. So that will that will come on its own. You don't have to do a separate one, but there is a new requirement that all elected officials have that starting July 1st. <coughs> <coughs> so probably their standard form you have to fill out. Yeah, you? it's I think they have a bare minimum and then we can yeah, okay. expand on that. Okay. So other than that, the big long list of appointed people are all still interested in serving. Planning Commission, DRB, Community Circle, Town Energy Committee, Recreation <coughs> Committee, 
Historic Sites Committee, Animal Control Officers, all those folks are ongoing. Okay. Yeah, is that is it in here? Yeah. Okay. Love. Guess what we just need, right? Is a motion to except town officers. Yeah, except slate all of officers. The yeah. Slate of officers. <coughs> you got through them, Raj? Uh, yeah, I, I just went through. It's easy to go through the town report. You got through? All right. Yeah. I'll go through. I'll make a motion to accept the uh, slate of officers as presented. I second, second that motion. Okay. Anything else to add? Oh, there we go. Okay, just found it. All right, all in favor signify. Well, before we'll do that, th this is not where the constable comes in. The constable can be a se separate discussion, but yeah, it's right now it's vacant. So. Want to do that? We can do that as a separate motion, Dave. After okay, so we can talk about it a little more. Not, it's not listed here. That's right. 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 I was wondering, wasn't there? Was it? Okay. Yeah. It's okay. All, right. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Let's talk about constables. Okay. Since we have to appoint one. Yes, the statute requires one constable. <laughs> Doesn't we've always done two? The town insurance wants money if we have official licensed police officers in the state of Vermont. So to save some tax money, we will not reappoint the two officers, one's sheriff and one was Colchester police, and have a non-police certified person doing no work because the voters took away all the police powers at town meeting day. So it would be a limited select board directed public outreach maybe or something some role like that potentially but right now there would be no job duties unless the select board sets some out to actually be appointed and not have to do anything but right now that's how it is select board could talk about what that could do down the road but right now it'd be no no job duties because the yeah. select board hasn't given any and the voters took away all the police powers right and they weren't doing anything before right oh right but only by a select board vote the voters had to do that. You no, know, right. Yeah. I understand why we. And they weren't doing anything before right. that. They could have. I think was the risk for the insurance. Right. Because they we were just, authorized we, to do we it. We thought by we state had law. taken yeah. care of it, but we had to back up and do it legally at town meeting, so it was on the record. Is it a, so it isn't any different. A elected constable by the people with duties has every every can do anything that the Moyo County Sheriff can do. That's all the used to be that way. Two years ago, the state law changed where if an elected constable wants to do enforcement duties, they have to have 100 hours of training. Oh, yes. Right. But have, with the training, they yeah, have all those. they have to go through the same police right. academy. That right. They, 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 right. Could, right. they could get a sponsor right. of the yeah. sheriff or another police department, go to training, and then have Hyde Park speed traps or whatever you want to call them. Now, a non-elected, non-duty, Constable, uh, things are if somebody got out of order at one of these meetings, you can escort them out. Yeah, yeah, you, um, can, the, you can't arrest them, no. but you can encourage them to get out. <laughs> I, I deliver something for you. Can't use that. <laughs> I don't say is that what this appointed would do? Un, unappointed, Un, well, not having the, the appointed with no duties. You right. select board would say. Yeah. And there's, you know, I think that's something we can talk about at a future meeting if somebody were to step forward 
say, here's our agreement with you right. to know what that person was expected. They'll do the same thing I'm going to the Sheriff's Department, only do it right down. If, they, if, they're going, if their place was going to look for taxes, you would deliver the paper, hand deliver the papers to them. Okay. Currently, how do they get those papers? It's sort of close to what I you're doing. I think the lawyer now. does that, don't they? What's that? I think the I lawyer think takes care of that. The lawyer, the lawyer sends it to the sheriff. Uh, is in the sheriff's department. The lawyer sends it to the sheriff's department. The sheriff's department handed me. You know, oh, okay. It's the same thing we had a zoning enforcement case with yeah. uh, up on Diggins Road. We had the yeah. sheriff oh, deliver the notice you. because we right. didn't want to have any problems on the hill, kind of thing. So okay. Yeah, so that can be the, the duties can be talked at at a later. Right. Okay. Later yeah. So I I was. Dave's talking about it like I put his name down originally on this list and right. then he wanted to talk about it more before you take that over. So that's why it's blank, but he, Dave's the only name that I was thinking about because he's already doing half the work already for the sheriff. And it's a good position for Dave. Yeah, not do nothing. He knows his way around town. <laughs> no, he, no, he no gun allowed. Yeah. Right. That's a Probably find some of that pickup out there. <laughs> You can use this it's forward anytime the you want to. But you can you use it. it. Right. <laughs> so, so would you be willing to fill the position? Speed okay. 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 <laughs> then uh, I'd nominate Dave Gagne. Check it. Well, to, to be our, our current town constable who has no duties right now, but we'll discuss duties at a later time. Yeah. Uh, As compensation will be discussed at the same time. Right. <laughs> Paid on a pro rata with the select board. You right. yeah. Yep. And that's for a one year term. One year? Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. The, Ron, did we just cover the rules of procedure as well with the officers? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, as long as there's no changes, it'll be the same as the 2012 the version. Right. The one, one pager with our, in there. With our yes. change dates, right. Okay, our work plan. That's more of an organizational. Well, it's right. Topic, but I don't know if you're ready to talk about it. So, whether you want to go to a policy work session or some some out of an action oriented meeting like this, that might be good. But, well, and and I think we should set up. <clears throat> we got through town meeting those before everybody's life gets crazy again. But sometime in April, set another policy meeting, and that would be a good time mm -hmm. um, to think about it and people to bring in because again, I mean, one of the things we're talking about is you know is looking at doing the whole assessment and coming up with a plan for how we would mm -hmm. you know which would be a fairly major policy right there um, <clears throat> but think about those uh, variety of things and sit down and just do it at a policy time when we yeah I think <laughs> maybe if you and I sit down and just think about that and make a list yeah we, we have a, we have lots of things that come up and then you're not sure what should be on the list. Right. And if we right. can get it down to a short not, list, then the board can discuss which ones to spend time on during the calendar right. year. Not, so you're, not you're, surprisingly, lots of it is around roads. Well, I always get con concerned about the calendar. April is the next meeting, and October we start budget. So yeah. you have basically six months of work work, and then you're going to get distracted by budgets and other things. So. So you want us to make a list what we want? You you should all do your own list. Susan yeah, and I can so start yeah, with yeah. just trying start to start a list. Yeah. Yeah. Start it and then we can talk about it in April okay. or a, Yeah. April will come up with besides the regular meeting. Or, or, a, reg, or a special time. meeting if you want to talk about that tonight to set a right. meeting Might before be a your long meeting. Before your April meeting, yeah. Well that's right now, particularly if we go 
We should, yeah, I had to get my should, brain turned around to the third us, Monday. Maybe we should set another meeting for all that. Yeah. <clears throat> when you say work time, you, 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 you also uh, change, change in, in the way we're doing things now. Yeah. Yeah. Benefits now. Yeah. Yeah. So, and again, again. Yeah, well, and, and we've, we've talked about, co you know, coming up with a plan for the road crew and who we need to cross train and that whole thing. So coming up with that, coming up with the plan and then implementing it would yes. be Perfect. the sort of thing that we're yeah. talking about. You've talked about uh, morning meetings on Tuesdays and Thursdays before. I don't know if that's still a good schedule for you guys. Right. So if we, if you look at calendar, so let's assume that the next regular select board meeting would be April 15th. So we could. You won't be crying over your taxes or nothing. Yeah, no. No. We could do April 1st and not no show point. up. No, no point. That's right. <laughs> um, that'd be good. <clears throat> that's, I, definitely, I definitely won't show up then. Okay. That's it. I tell you, Thursday mornings would work better for me. Okay. So we want to try. 14th? Uh, I'm in April. Oh, I'm in April. Yeah, get to April, and that would be the 11th. Okay, if you run. Oh, yeah. You, you run? Yep. Okay. April 11th? Yep. Morning? Yep. What do we do? Yep. Would we do 9 o'clock? Yep. Because that was better for. Rolling again. Yeah, I guess rolling here. Okay. That's April 11th? Yep. getting it wrapped around there. This will be interesting. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember the change. Okay. Super. And we'll get, um, I'll work with Ron and we'll, we'll get a list and get it to everybody so you can see the things that we've thought of and you can build on, build on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you know my email. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Six three five seven zero three eight. Roger has a special email. It's a talking email. Um. Oh, <coughs> annual liquor license. Okay. Yeah, they should they pass that. Nobody applied, so they have April to do it. No. Oh. People apply usually March or April for the. We only got one, don't we? Ten bands and VFW. Oh, two ten bands. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So that's on so hold. We don't have to do anything there. Nope. Uh, hold. Okay. The highway department. The ATV ordinance. Why do I betcha? That's why people are here. We've uh, we've had it posted on the front page forum for ever since last month, and we only got one negative response and that person does not even live in Hyde Park. So that's right. And uh, this is who we are from. And I know Steve Wright. That yeah. yeah. That, Did um, he respond on front porch form? Yeah. I didn't see that. And I didn't see I don't know how I saw that you were doing something like I guess I read your minutes from last meeting that you Or it would have been on front porch forum. Right. And, and, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think we're on opposite sides there. Yeah. But, yeah, but, yeah. but I don't have any idea what the ordinance is, what roads you're talking well, about, you know, or what even they. I thought they couldn't run on Hyde Park roads. No. Hyde Park dirt road, class three roads are open. All dirt roads. All dirt roads are open. Where they're we're having they trouble. Have been for or ages. Where they're having trouble is uh, this. Say, for instance, uh, coming off Jones Road, going down to North Hyde Park, right? Yeah. They're running. They're running legal to there, but they're running illegal from Jones Road to McKinstry Hill, or to Cooper Hill Road, which is six tenths of a mile. Yeah. All we're all we're asking for is, I think there's six locations that that are running three tenths of a mile, four tenths of a mile, six tenths of a mile, with the longest being Center Road, which is a mile, just to get to connecting trails, because they're coming and they're deadlocked. So where on Center Road are you talking about? From the Four Corners to McKinstry. To McKinstry Hill? To McKinstry Hill, the T, past my Oh, okay, yeah. 
then anybody from the west can come this way, then keep going, and then they can they can go north. Or so, east. so what if they came came down over uh, Carpenter Hill? They can't come over Carpenter Hill. Yeah, that that will start section. That, that's that's paved from the top of Carpenter Hill to to to, to Trombley Hill to Trombley Hill, and then there's a little dirt, but it changes to pavement on the top of uh, Cleveland Corners Road. Right, and, and those are listed in, into that, that they can write that little short. The one on the hill? Three tenths mile up on the hill, right. Then going from there. Take a right there and go up to McKenna Street Hill. Right. right. Yes. And the other one is that Jones Road I told you about. The other one is Will Grimes Road, which comes down to Route 100 in the state, even. Will Grimes Road, where's that? On the other side of Route 100. Uh, we used to know it as uh, uh, the Ranger Road. Uh, Head up towards North Right Bar. Casella Waste uh, Management. Yeah. yeah, past Casella's. Yep. Then uh, about oh, a couple oh, miles goes, goes up, up to the left. Yes. Yeah, it goes up the hill yeah. there. The, the, the stage. There's a development on the left, wind blown acres or something. Yeah, windy. Windy now. The, the stage even windy, though, uh, uh, yeah. uh, giving up some and even don't let us cross the main road, I think us, then to cross the main road to go that little short distance between there and Longmore Hill so they can continue going. There's Longmore that go out to? That goes up to North High Park Road. Yeah. yeah. So you're only, you're only talking six uh, parcels and all it is is to connect the, these roads. Uh, see Johnson, you can ride. You can ride open in Johnson. You can come in. You can ride open in Eden. But Hyde Park stops everybody when they get there because of these roads. Well, they're riding them anyways. This will just make it legal. And to make sure it without helmets. Yeah. Well, to make it. Kids on a gas tank. Going like hell. Well, because now the, 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 there's no legality. It, this here now they'll have to be registered in the state of Vermont. They'll have to carry an insurance card. They'll have this to. This is according to the ordinance. ordinance. The They'll have to belong to uh, a club, whether Green Mountain uh, ATV Club, uh, 25 miles an hour on the right hand side of the road. And I'm telling you, as of. Uh, 25. 25, right. As a four wheeler myself, which don't, I don't active go out and ride every weekend, but we do hop onto them sometimes and ride up to Lowell, to Cajun, to have breakfast which is a nice ride. I mean, I can go from my house all the way to Newport, but I can't go that first quarter of mine because it's illegal, which I'm gonna go anyways, but, and, and, and not that they're doing. So, so in Lowell on the Mines Road, is that, are they supposed to go 25 there? Is that a state ordinance? There? No, that, on the roads, on the roads is 25 miles. The intent ordinances are yeah. 25 mile an hour max speed anywhere. Yeah. Any town. Anywhere. Yeah. Woods. Because they go 50 on the mines road down by yeah, my kids' yeah. place. Yeah, well. Now, now being ordin ordinance, I think that's word. Um, Vasa has, Vasa? or Vas, no, Vasa. Vasa. Vasa, Vasa. has money to. Just their organization. To uh, Vermont Association of. Sportsman Association. Yeah. What does it go? What's VASA stand for? Vermont Agency of Sportsmen Association. And that's that's the umbrella organization right. for all ATVs. Yes. And they have you have to belong to that before you can belong to a club. It's just like a, just like the sewing machine. You have to the belong. club belongs to VASA. Yeah. Uh, yes. Or, or the members yeah. of the club that right. therefore belong yes. to VASA. Yeah. Uh, now they've got uh, money to patrol. In fact, talking to. Uh, so they have enforcement? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Yes. And they have insurance if, if something happens to, to your property. Uh, being a constable now, but with no assign, one of the things that I'm going to, I'm going to put into that, I'm going to be in charge of this, uh, uh, of this organization. Uh, 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 not patrolling necessarily, but handling the complaints. If we get complaints and if they belong to your club, we will shut down those roads right now. Absolutely. Plain and simple. But, but we've had this for five or six years and we only had one complaint where they could ride the, uh, the dirt roads. 
And we only had one complaint, and that was a young guy up on up on Mason Road. Mason Road that didn't realize he had some tires on front of his rig. <laughs> Well, I, I, I think... And we get reports. We will follow up on it now. Yeah. Now we get on the private property. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think one of the um, advantages of having clear ordinances for every town, and it doesn't matter what the town chooses, but having... Now it'll be very clear where they can ride. Um, that that gives us, and, and I think is besides part of publicizing this, is for folks to know that there is an avenue for filing a complaint. Because I think a lot of times the issue is people don't, they don't know, yes. you know, that there's any way to file a complaint. Um, so they just end up being irritated and frustrated for ages because nobody's going to pay any attention to them. Um, so I think having, Again, once there's a clear ordinance, it's whether we're talking to the, to whether we talk to the club or even talking to Roger, it's like, this is clear. Okay, this is, this is what you can do, this is what you can't do. And gives us the ability, gives the town the ability, but also the residents. And again, I think part of this is letting folks know that um, they have options if they aren't happy, as you say, as you keep seeing them riding at 50 miles an hour, to say, you know, this isn't working. I don't know how you're going to enforce it, but that comes back to you folks to get some folks out there to enforce it. Is, is there a helmet law? Yes. Yes. I see these people riding with yeah. helmets and with kids on them. Yeah. yeah. All the time it's no. not, so. Because it's, because right now it's, it's illegal to ride without a helmet, so it's also illegal to ride on what we're trying to get past. So, but the ordinance, it, it will make it. Yeah, but it's, but it, it's the old, the enforcement thing. Then yeah. again, you yeah. ask about, again, what you're doing with the health thing. There's a suggestion, but then there's an ordinance. Yeah. And this you know, this, this four-wheeling stuff, it is different than it was in the past. Yeah. If you look at them now, they're mostly side-by-sides and, and with four seats, and you'll see whole families going together. I have a friend who goes to Pittsburgh and yeah. those places in Rise. And the money they leave in New Hampshire. It's a, we want to hear in Vermont. Yeah. So. And we're working on meeting with local law enforcement and stuff as it is too. So we can get with them and make sure things are shining properly the way they feel so everything's covered. And, you know, there's no excuse for these issues. If there's a farm or an area that comes up where everybody's going through and say maybe they are doing the 25 but still spooking their livestock and making their lives more difficult we can slow that speed limit down through that area that's not an issue all we need to know is to know the issue that's there and we can address it I mean, and i was talking to your president of uh, yeah. huh? no yeah. Basa. oh uh, um adam, adam oh, who am i thinking big guy up in hardwick oh danny. Danny, danny danny he told me i seen him up in the restaurant the other day he told me that uh, the, uh, they, the Vasa has given the state of Vermont two mm -hmm. K&M four-wheelers. Side by sides, yeah. yeah to, for, for the yeah. state police slash game wardens to patrol. To patrol. Um, well, a couple of the manufacturers have programs now where law enforcement can get in touch with them and they'll send them machines to use for a period of time. Mm -hmm. And then after that period of time, if they want to continue to, they'll continue to send them new machines to replace these yeah. ones as they wear. Mm -hmm. With no cost to these towns, these police forces, nothing. Yeah. Just to promote the hobby and make sure that people are out there staying safe with it. Yeah. So. And as a club, we do have money for the law enforcement. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. so the snowmobilers have done the same thing. I think yes. four wheelers are just, you know, the snowmobilers oh, have been there a long, yeah. you know, a lot longer. And if there is any and outlaws out there, we will weed them out. Oh, yeah. yes, we will. Yeah. <laughs> So um, <coughs> I appreciate all of this. It's helpful to understand the issue a little bit more. Um, I live on Center Road, and I attempt to walk on Center Road to, you know, get some fitness. And it's very hard to even walk on Center Road with the, the speed that people drive and people don't yield. And I won't walk with my kids because it's dangerous. Um, and I'm concerned that ATV traffic on Center Road will just make that feeling of this is a racetrack even more distinct. I don't think I don't think you're going to see a big difference in the traffic. 
tell you the truth. Because it's not it's not the whole center room. It's just yeah, and, right and I didn't understand that right. until okay. tonight. Um, so so my and and I'm a bit biased, not against anyone in particular, but um, of this idea because I lived in Lowell Village for ten years and it was um, it was a quality of life issue mm -hmm. there for us before they changed the tree. Because they used to have to go right through the road. Yeah. Now, now you have to come in from the back. Go, go to the cage. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But I, so I haven't lived there for yeah. six or seven years now. But so when I think of ATVs on my road, that's the that's what it conjures for me is right. this people ripping by at midnight and no nine o'clock nine o'clock nine o'clock you're, you're okay. off the road at nine and seven in the morning isn't it? I believe. Eight? No, it's a dawn. I forget what it is, but there is a time limit in the yeah. morning and you can't be on after nine o'clock at night. So how, so if I have a complaint to make, if if someone is, so I, I think I'm on the part of Center Road that people won't be allowed to drive Where else should you live? Um, 809, so where you just took down the big tree. Um, Steve Menashe's old house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, so you're not affected. So that I didn't know until no, tonight. Right. So but the, your rule is, if you've got a problem, you call Ron. Ron will get hold of me. Well, but what am I supposed to say? So there was two dumbasses driving by my house. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, but how do you know which dumbasses it is? You know, like, how do you, you know? know? This is what you have to hear. They have an amazing way of figuring it out. It's oh. kind of like it really is. You yeah. get into these clubs, and I found the snowmobilers are the same way. If there's an issue, say there was, you know, they'll, because way out in our, our fields, we can hear them, you know, and they're not supposed to. And say, they'll say, okay, and I, I have no idea how they do it, but they oh, definitely are tuned into it. And and if they aren't, it happens again. You just you just yeah. keep, you know. They yeah, what information you can. If they had a great machine or if they, what they had on and stuff. And yeah, color, time, and date. Yeah, helpful. It's helpful, and it, and even if you don't have any of that, it's still go ahead and make the call. And I should recognize that we saved the turtle there one time here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the turtles are very active there. Right. Okay. <laughs> Sort of the speeder still. It's, yeah. it's very. I mean, I know this is oh, not yeah. the forum for that, but um, there is a speeding issue on our road. That's from there are now. speeding issues all over the all back over roads the in Vermont. It's not just Hyde Park. You know, it really is. And as <coughs> the sheriff work. is working to be able to hold on to his staff, which is a whole retirement funding issue that we're dealing with in the legislature. So that he can stay up staffed enough. He did. Hi he has hired somebody who just does, you know, the speeding stuff now. I mean, he he is really focused on that and has heard that and is trying to do it. But it's, you know, they still. Well, that was helpful. That stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I I think what what this is going to do, and back in the winter when they came, we said, why don't you come back with a map and we can get Ron could. You must have the map someplace. Mm -hmm. We'll send it to you guys so that you can see because it's like it shows you where all the little connectors are and what it's connecting into. And they came in with here are the specific yeah. connectors. It's on the, distance the map is on the front porch. Too. Is it not front? I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. It's the map's on front porch for them. Well, thank you for coming and voicing your concerns. Yeah. Anyways, and like I said, if this goes through. Uh, you have any? You have any problems at all? You go hold wrong, wrong, get hold of me. So I, is Vasa doing this in all the towns? Or in no, the it's every it's every individual club that takes her on. Okay. And uh, and mine and Shannon Frederick, Fred, Frederick's the president of the club. Our cell phone numbers are listed on Vasa's yeah. website. If you go on their website for the local clubs, every local club's um, cell phone number, contact, and emails are all listed mm -hmm. for every single club. So if you have any problems, you can. Anytime you can always and, call us as well. And again, as I'm, I'm going to become a front porch forum pusher, you know, but to periodically, just for the club to put a little thing on it, say, here's what we're doing, and we're encouraging yeah. people. And if you want more information, if you're interested in getting involved, if you have any issues, give, you know, that's just, you know, that's um, definitely in our digital world people I'm I'm impressed at how many people tune into front porch forum it really is helpful so it's a way we can all use it to inform each other I also I mean this is just a suggestion but maybe um, approaching the homes that are on these little sections where people like it's going to be opened and saying 
hey, this is happening, right? and here's our contact, you know, like, I'm, I'm appreciative of your presence here and, you know, the way that you're speaking about your club, and I think anyone who's home is going to be affected by this, potentially. No, and it is in the paper now about our meeting starting up the third Thursday of every month. Anybody's more than welcome to come, yeah. and all the information is in the paper. You know, I, I kind of respectfully disagree with you because they're doing it now. That's yeah, how that's right. People are using it. We're just making it legal, so it'll be illegal. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and but, and but wouldn't a homeowner appreciate to know that? Like, well, we we had it. We didn't uh, when we did the dirt roads. We didn't go to run the dirt roads and not. Yeah, but that would tonight. be a lot. That would be a lot. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. I'm not. I, I, but figure out how way to, you know, again to let folks know. And part of that we can do through again through just continuing to push it on front porch form. Yeah. But uh, I think we, we I think we'll vote on it. I so we'll I make a yep. motion uh, to expand the ATV use on our town roads in six different locations. Um, don't, you don't need to do that. You can adopt the ordinance. proposed 2019 ordinance. Yeah. Because there's a lot more in there than what you're right. Okay, right. Adopt the 2019 ordinance. Adopt the 2019 ordinance. Second. Okay. Do we want any more discussion about it? We sort of did a little backwards, but here we go. And we'll note those helpful suggestions for putting, you know, again, how to how to do it. Um, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Oh, going back on it now, we can't go back into it, but, but one of the things that <laughs> but. we're talking with, with Shannon is they have these uh, jam reads and stuff, and we're always trying to bring people into Hyde Park and stuff, and down the road, and talking to Roger, which is on the board for the field days, it, it's getting some sort of jam marie up into Johnson and uh, bringing people into town. And sure. Maybe we can sell a piece of property or something. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, we got his brain turning now. We're in trouble. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you. Thanks Thank for coming in. Thank you yep. very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks guys. By the way, I own a big red three wheeler. You don't? You still got a three wheeler? <laughs> huh? Thanks for coming in, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, the loader. Is she, is she here she, for she's she's here for oh. healthy communities. Okay. Why don't we get down and do healthy communities and then we not make you stay here? The loader is on hold at the present time until we get all the prices. Okay. So you want to table the loader? Yep. Okay. Okay, table the loader. How about if we or if we can make a motion to not I mean, go let, over okay. 165,000, so when it is brought, yeah, you we have don't to. have to have a special meeting. And yeah, uh, I saw it back here, right? And Susan can take a look at it and approve it. Great. I know. I think. Buy that, a loader. Yeah, I like that. But you know, I kind of like to listen to the well, different yeah. pros and cons. Okay. Yeah, if we can do if nothing else, we can get everybody on the well, phone and yeah. we can all get yeah. together. Right. Okay. So just sort of put it on hold until we have more information right. and then let Ron yep. know and we'll get together and three bids. Four. Four bids. Four, okay. Okay. We're going to there's the other going to take long. Can we do a jump to six and let the healthy community policy and sign locations. All right, we have an example of it in here. Yep. There it is. No smoking, no chew, no vaping, no marijuana, no alcohol. <laughs> Just can't have any fun at all. No dogs. No fun. No dogs. <laughs> Get rid of the kid, now we get the So, a little, little background, we've been meeting with Healthy Lamoya uh, Valley for a while, and one of our projects this summer is to try to finish up the rail trail 
And part of that is whether or not the select board wants to pre-adopt some policies on everything that Dave just read. So I drafted the policy, Allison Link from Healthy Lamoille Valley reviewed it. And then she offered some comments for the board to look at. So those are her comments. And we have time, you know, if you want to take it and read it and come back some other day. But by summer, I don't want to get the signs up for a couple months. Maybe. Yeah, that's right. Is, is the town or whoever, the Memorial Health or whoever this is, are they going to furnish butt cans and the plastic bags, dog doodle -doo bags? Oh, yeah, we don't do dog doodle -doo bags. <laughs> but the butt cans, some communities have, um, through their coalitions, have purchased some. Yeah. yeah. What they're called, but they're, yeah. they're right. box things that you right. can post on something. Yeah. So that has happened in other communities. Do you furnish them? Do we furnish them? I can. I, I'm with the health department, and I'm a resident here in High Park. So, um, but I would have to check to see um, you, if it's in the grant. Absolutely. And all. Uh, yeah, and, all and also, some. You know, for a fact, they don't do the the, the, the bags. I do. I know that. Yeah. It's outside of the grant. So do we want to look at the policy? Do we want to tackle it now? Do we, what's everybody's pleasure? Um, as far as the policy goes, this is more than a policy. There's a reference to existing policies that we already have adopted. There's three or four sections regarding the rail trail that are new. And then there's suggestions for future consideration. So it's more of a comprehensive community health document with a couple policies of no smoking, no drinking, et cetera. Right, the the, so the, right. I highlighted those with the shaded gray <coughs> on the draft uh, five or six page document. Yep. So the rest of it's really a template that sort of reads nice for people that are trying to get up to speed on what we're after. Uh, but it doesn't really put any enforcement. There's no penalties. Right. It's self-enforcement. Right. It's right. you know making some obvious statements, including the ones that would support the signs, not the rail trail. So, so they worked. That all works together. I don't. I, I really don't see a big negative impact on this, other than people might decide to use it to say, "Hey, there's a sign right there," and the town really doesn't appreciate that. Right. And then people will respect that or not. <coughs> You know, it does encourage the school to think about these things in there versus tell the school what to do. Um, so anyway, that's, and then Alice, I haven't gotten through all Allison's comments, but. Yeah, the only one that I would say, most of her comments are optional things to think about in the future. Um, and the only one would be two on page three where uh, talking about um, a lot that it's allowed for people to smoke or vape outside. Just to add a little clarity, it's suggested to add a little clarity around um, entryways. And making note of the current law, which is 25 feet from the building. Right. Um, those are the only things specific to this one now, and the others are all things to think about down the road. Um, You're saying 25 feet from the buildings are on the property? I believe the, the law is from the building. This, you, know, you talked about town properties? Yeah. How about, how about our employees that smoke? Well, they are. I mean, all the state buildings are that way now. So yeah. that they, you know, and they've a lot of them for the big buildings. Yeah. You know, they put a shelter and yeah. it's out. And yeah, you got to get 25 feet away. And I think, <clears throat> I try to remember if it's entrances or if it's from the building, but I think you're right. I think it may be from the building because windows may be open, the whole thing with secondhand smoke. I have to do some research on that, Dave. You know where I'm going, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Second thing on there, 
Yes. Wait, where, where are you going? Well, we got we got employees even in this building to stand outside on on the steps and smoke. Right. So they'll have to go further. And have about, I don't know if anybody in the town drop smokes. I have no idea. You? No, I don't no, think so. I don't think Ryan right. don't. But I, don't I think Mark does somebody might. I think they chew. Well, <laughs> yeah. I look at the state law. It talks about state buildings. I don't think you have 25 feet of state owned people. state owned buildings and offices. <laughs> oh, so it's state, so it's not even town. Uh, We'd have yeah, to have except that to the extent of uh, any portion of 25 feet is not on a state property. So if you're doing the drip edge thing, you can step on the neighbor's property and be three feet from a building because yeah. you're not on state property anymore. <laughs> you don't have to be 25 right. feet away on the next property. Okay, right. And, and am I overthinking this sign here with the, the no smoking, no chew, and all that stuff? Shouldn't that be one said no drugs? Mm -hmm. So it's okay if I want to do heroin, but I can't do marijuana. Well, that's interesting, okay. Yeah, I think there was the other, I think that's <clears throat> the only symbols that I've seen. Uh, that's, that's an interesting, right. One for needles, I right. don't want you to smoke it. Well, right. Take care of the no smoking. <laughs> I don't want you to smoke anything. Yeah, I've not, I've not seen a symbol for wisdom needles. I wonder. I wouldn't include it. Yeah, that's true. If if there isn't, there probably, unfortunately, should be one. Mm. I mean, it's, it sort of seems obvious, but you're right. It's an opportunity to make another statement yeah, about it, which is. That's there. Yeah, I mean, I imagine someone needing insulin would be doing it on in a location like that, but. I throw mine all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I go through a lot of them. I put them in a cotton tape them and send them to the landfill, which is all right. They get crushed. Um. So what do, what do we want to? I think the only, the only other thing that I'll mention that I did not see in Allison's notes, and um, she had said it in an email to me earlier, um, and it's, it's just, again, it's just for that language thing when we're, because um, vaping sometimes isn't considered tobacco, that having, wherever it says tobacco to include vaping, so vape-free. I gotcha, okay, free. yep. Suggestion. Have we had a conversation about where we want to put these? No. Again, I just. Well, down to the trail head. One, one on the ball field. field. Right, sort of the effective, right. Recreation <coughs> field trails, green sidewalks. Our, have them in the village? Do you, does that have our, to go our, to our And our pocket park. Town right away. Have we got the yeah. money for? We do. We got the grant. For the pocket park. That didn't take long. Just 12 years. Okay. <laughs> Good. Well, let's, let's, yes. yes. As my they they plowed it all are out. Are they still there? Yeah. That's I know. Right. They, they plowed it all out. Over from the courthouse. They're going to put up there. Yeah. That would be up. Yeah. Oh, I, I see the back hole up there. It must be in the village right now. Oh, oh no. That's the... Uh, you know the memorial from the sheriff's yeah. that's sort of that's sort of like half moved. done because oh, okay. there's nothing around you it so you get that whole but thing done that area. Yeah. we <laughs> literally the time we've been holding it benches for that place for years okay because they want to do it someplace other than the than the library but one at the library would certainly make sense um, certainly something down as we do the trailhead down there uh, well, I can make a. Okay. I can fluff this up again with Allison's comments. I think there's okay. three of them up there, if I remember right. Come back in April. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay, and I'll find out about those. Yeah, be, be be interesting to see. Okay. Obviously, we're getting there slowly but surely. Thank you for your yeah. tolerance and support and patience. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> this stuff takes time. All right, just we're plugging along here. And I'll make another pitch for three four fifty. That's right. <laughs> That's right. We're getting there slowly but surely. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to teach my dog how to carry her leash. Oh. Mm. All right.
All right, then we just sort of jumped out of there so we could let Val go. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a good You're evening. Welcome. Look at that, still some light out there. Oh, I love it. Municipal Highway Grant. Paving and structure funds. Every year we have a chance at $175,000 from the state of Vermont. I think the last project we got was four or five years ago, so we're getting closer yeah. to the next round of 175. I think Jim uh, Coda up at St. Albans likes to give it out in big chunks. Okay. And then if, if we have a little left over, sometimes he'll we'll take a little bit. But it, right now, with a you know 80 to 125 thousand dollars a mile, people are asking for the 175, and then maybe doing three miles in one year, and then everybody backtracks to one or two miles. So. The problem we're having, just like with Battle Road, is that we're really not ahead of paving in, the, in that ideal way. Being ahead of paving means that last year the highway crew went through and did a whole bunch of culverts on Center Road, and it's been sitting for a whole winter, and it's ready for pavement. We don't have any roads that are ready for pavement this year. No. I'm not saying that we don't apply for the money, and maybe we can come up with a road that doesn't have many culverts, but we don't have that ideal system yet. We're sort of always catching it, it, trying to catch our it. tail a little right. bit yeah so now, do, if we were fortunate to get that wrong do we have to spend it in that fiscal year yeah. I think it's, uh, it's either 18 or 24 months yeah. so they're, they're potential for two seasons okay no you get two paving seasons okay good so we, we may want to bank it and use it on the big project yeah okay yeah so we, we ask well, every year you, but it's, it's right. we have to pick there's two terrible roads I'm not discussing Battle Row right now but Center Road and East Main Street <laughs> and those are two yeah you know we have some Clearly. smaller sections of other roads that need to be dealt with it looks like uh, Johnson Street extension might get in <laughs> late this year but more likely it's gonna be next year just because permitting is taking so long with the federal constraints we have to play with so we're hopeful that it'll accelerate but right now it's in review and they, all they say is four to six months every time we ask them when they think they might yeah. get back to us which is fine but it's just it's something that's going to miss this season pretty pretty shortly <coughs> we do have to go out to bid and well we have been going out to bid every year for paving and get a price locked down so it's helpful to have a road picked out both uh, east main street and center road are class two roads so they're eligible for this paving money we also have some structures on East Main Street that need attention. There's a six footer and a eight footer and a few culverts and a bad road alignment. So that's almost a total, total rebuild from Centerville Road at least all the way to Route 15. But uh, again, that's a, how you're not going to dig up and replace two major culverts, then pave it and end up with what happened at Route 100 northbound. I have to go over every day. Yeah. The whole van drops yeah. down about eight, ten inches right now. That, not that they can't fix it, but I'm saying ideally that settling has gone through a cycle or two before you pay it. And they didn't do that at Rue 100, and there's some, some spots there. there. Oh, there yeah. yeah. So I guess that's the, the, those are the two. I don't know if there's any other roads. We don't have a major, major plan like well, Susan was talking about. Those roads. are the two major ones. I thought we talked about looking at all the, the roads and then maybe doing the bond. Right. Yeah, we yes, I still. I mean, we need to get started on it because if we don't, we're going to be right behind again and not be able to get into the town warning next year. If we don't get going on it. I know, I know but we got to wait for the weather. But, yeah, you know, it's got to. Yeah, be I took it right up by the road. I didn't see anything wrong with that pavement that we laid a couple of weeks ago. I haven't been up for probably. I heard that I'd heard that it was all broken up oh, and everything. No, not broken up, but just like this. No, I wasn't that bad. Roger, you gotta drive sixty miles an hour to feel it though. Why? Well, yeah. <laughs> you well, can't well, be going five miles an hour to feel it. I wasn't months. going five, I'd probably go in thirty five, forty. I'm just kidding. Yeah. 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 No, no doing the speed I, limit. I didn't see. I went up and I came it. back. Right. So I'd be on both sides. And I, I didn't see it that bad. I, I've, I've gone up a couple of times because I've heard this terrible complaining about how horrible it is. And and I'm with you. I thought, I'm miss, I'm missing yeah. something here. The only person I, I heard was... Uh, oh, I, I went up there a month ago. Five, yeah, five well, weeks. Rolling. Rolling went up yeah. there. And it was bad. But boy, I must have settled in a hurry. 
And I don't know how it could settle this quick. I don't either. The frost not out. Well, you'll find out in about a week when the frost pops. Um, maybe, oh, when the frost gets, maybe the frost gets, maybe the frost gets down it'll be, but mm -hmm. I don't know, I'll take it right up there. I don't. I will. It, it, I didn't see. Anyway, I think Dave's probably got a good suggestion is to proceed as usual, either center road. Yeah. If we apply for center road, yeah, we can always adjust. But, We're a couple of years out from East Main. That's my concern with East Main. Uh, culverts there are easily over 100,000 each, probably on both ends of that section. But aren't we that far out with center as well? I Probably not, because the, what's on center road are culverts that highway could do this year and be done with it. The bridge okay. projects are, are, I don't even know if we can get to them this year because they're bigger. See, see, I have no problem. Right. I probably get a lot of stuff shot at me from the, from the, the people on that road. But my, one of my biggest pe pet peeves is, is not only us, the towns in the other state, when we do a road, we hurry up and get it done. And so they do it half. Right. Half of right. right. I would be opposed to the taking that stuff right off center road and leaving it, getting it ready, put your culverts in it and leaving it dirt, put right. the chloride right to it in the fall and get it higher in a rock and, and leaving it for a year. For the year and pave it the following year and everything that's gonna sink is gonna be sunk and, and it's gonna last twice as long. No, you're, you're right. You're absolutely right. You know, it, it's just throwing good money over black bad blacktop is it, it, so what, when when you do that then how do those roads come through a mud season if they're built up and use a uh, filter fabric underneath it like you should it had the proper drainage which they're going to have to do right it will hold up very well but i'm looking before when before it's paved so we do that and, and you leave it well the reason that the reason dirt roads get muddy is they put salt on and, and salt okay. makes water and water makes all these nice makes bumps and things. Uh, but you, you look at the rest of our, our dirt roads and they're, they're not muddy per se. They get a little soft. A couple little sections right. do. Yes, yeah, yeah, so we got two, little sections. two sections. Yeah. One coming out of your house and going up to the corners and heading down. So that's, a, that's one spot. Yeah. yeah. But Silver Ridges. <laughs> yeah, Silver Ridges. Right, right, that corner Silver Ridge is terrible. Yes. Right. But, you know, to do the roads and, and, and do them right, take the time doing them right, if it, we got to live for six months being inconvenienced. Well, again, and I think that's part of here's here's the whole plan when you put yeah. that out yeah. to people so that they're prepared for it. Yeah. That's the biggie is just, you know, if you only do it part way, then they're going to say, how come you only did it part way? Yeah. But as opposed to if you weren't, here's what's going to happen, and you are going to be inconvenienced for six months. Yeah. But what you're going to get, yeah. okay. Well, you do it halfway, then the time you do the other half, this other half yeah, is exactly. gone. Right. So, so you have it more. Right, right. And, and there's no way you can buy the road that those culverts have time enough to, to, to pack. I don't nope. care, you can put a compactor on them. You, you're not going to settle that stuff. And, and what's going to happen, it's just like stays up here in my tight. Every time there's a culvert. Yep. Be so how long does it take it to pack? To one, year. One, year. one year. One year. One year if you do it right. Okay. You yeah. take out the material. You take out the old culvert. You put the new culvert in. You put that same material right back in there. If you can. You won't have any problem, no settling, no anything. But if you go into a brand new material, you get virgin earth, and then okay. that's where your problems are. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> and there's nothing stopping some projects on East Main from moving forward. It's just when you, when are they going to see a nice road again? Well, I think right. what we ought to do is really take a serious look at East Main. If you want to go from the intersection where it's well, yeah. I still call Arnie Mark, which is now yeah. the Resource. Resource yeah, center. Right. Yeah. And come up to the bridge and do just just do that section. Same thing again. Tear the black top off, put your drainage, put your culverts, put your filter fabric down, put your gravel down and get that ready. And then from the thought next year but you go from the other side of the bridge and head up to by to the school. Before you do that, there's gonna be a major lift on that road too. Three feet at least. We don't lift that road three foot. No, so east, east, yes. Yeah. By the resource, by going into uh, right. the yeah, right. Yeah, right. 
So that's when we grab all of our applied yep. compounds. Yep. So. But that's that's the way that I do. You know, I have no problem doing it, but I want to do it right. That's you know? exactly right. You know, you don't, you don't like seeing time. good money spent. Right. And if you stick up a black top, it smooths it up some. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, it's. But we didn't at, discuss at, that. At, at, attached into all of this is the Better Connections grant. Mm -hmm. And we'll come up with some ideas about, again, you know, <laughs> my hope is that for once and for all, we'll reach a conclusion and make a decision. You know, but people are concerned about all those roads coming into the village and what, you know, what do you do with it? Do you make some of them one way? Um, doesn't mean you don't have to take care of them, but just, you know, in the plans of what we want to do, could have that might, that's just part of the whole picture that I think we need to think of. You know, of course, the, the people that live off the roundabout would love to see that made one way. Well, that's just not happening. Okay, I mean, is it, well, it's just not, you know, that that's a major... That's the major artery in and out of the village, and the folks living on that road is just, I, I can't believe that that's going to be changed. I don't see Oh, it's never be changed. You don't, you don't get that. all law now. You yeah. take a village. Of, money. You take a village of Hyde Park. By normal standard, it's, it's small. We've got seven roads coming into yeah, the exactly. village. Yeah, exactly. Right. Seven roads coming into that village. You know, and that's and that's part of the concern. If you just look at it and say, "So, what would you do?" Well, let's see. You could. Um, well, this, this is great. We'll tell if anybody watches these or not. Watch how much trouble I can get in. So, if you took Eden Street and just dead ended it. Okay. Oh, so, on, <laughs> oh that's. <laughs> you didn't talk about that. I thought the obvious out by the main road, but there's another way to do it. Right. You know, so you could because that's such a dangerous crossing anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, trying to get out of there or anybody trying to turn in there. So if you if you dead ended that, that that's coming off of the fire department. Yeah. yeah. No, not, no, not right across. No, the next one that's across right across from comes from. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. So if you dead ended that, that would take care of one of the entrances that probably is one of the more dangerous entrances coming in. Um, you know, with Depot Street and the concern about how we have people going through the village, you know, using it to try to now escape the bypass. Mm -hmm. If you took Depot Street and made it one way. You know, that, that would say this sort of, and it doesn't matter which way one way you made it, if you made it one way. Because again, the big concern in the village, and I can see it, is all the people that shortcut through the village. So how do you and, want to stop that? And not to jump ahead, but I see something here with, the, with truck traffic in the village. Yes. And that, it, that is why you get the truck traffic in the village, because I don't know what it is. So, but that roundabout over there by Dunkin' Donuts, it backed up all the way to previous bus stations in the morning. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I've seen it further than that. I've seen it to maybe yeah. our yeah. wild yeah. But, it moves, but it moves right along. Yeah, but still, not so fast as a truck going into the village and heading right down right. Depot Street and heading right. through. You know? And and I think it tends to be in the morning. So if you, and, and again, I mean, you know, I've seen in bigger places, you can make a street one way certain hours of the day. You know, but it would help you just... I tried to educate everybody. That would be a horrid thing, I think. Well, I mean, just leave Roger Park there for a week, and that would educate him pretty fast. <laughs> you know, but I, but again, but the better, com, you know, connections is going to look at all the, this. If the truck going down that. Depot Street, how they getting across that bridge? I thought that was weight limit down there. There is. Four feet. Huh? Wide open. Yeah. Well, so, says send up the church at 4.30, set down here at 4.30. Yeah. And I've seen but, them. I've seen the other day at the <coughs> church. It was four thirty. I was. What the hell was I doing that early out? Oh, no, see, we ain't gonna worry about that. That's the Marshall Bridge. <laughs> yeah, right. it's not our problem. Okay. Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay. That is Marshall Bridge. You're right. I didn't think of that. Yeah, so anyway, town I got, line a, down got a sidetrack, but covers Drake, some of the other. Where Draper used to live, isn't it? Where the town yeah. line is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, forget that so, was an but, so we're going to apply for the municipal highway grant. For the um, 
paving of center road because have to, we have to pick a road and a Wait. segment and a budget and do all that stuff. And okay. Then, yeah. mm -hmm. Do it for center road. Yeah. Okay. Not worry about East Main right now. Oh no, I think oh. we worry about East Main. Then yeah. we come up with things that can be part of that bigger project, but okay. not, but not uh, prohibit better connections or okay. other because things. If we, do, if we do that, then we do our homework and stuff. Then we'll we'll put it together. Have a whole plan for, for that for the yep. bond. Yep. That okay. Comes in it, be fine. But I right. know that we got to do something on East Main this year. On who? East Main. Oh. Even if just rip it all up. Yeah, even we gotta take blacktop up right. for God's sake. We gotta do something. Yeah. yeah. Well, those are things that are you know, five thousand dollars for half a mile. Yeah. And they can yeah. grind that up and put it right back down and yeah. they can chloride it and somebody yeah. think you paved it for five thousand bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Until winter comes, then, then it gets okay. a little different. But. What else do you need on that run and then we'll No, that's it. And then it? um I can do that and then the uh, Okay, so we need a need a motion. For yeah, because it's part of a grant application. Right. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. <clears throat> okay. A Sterling View. A total of eleven thousand a year? No, it's a little different this year. Okay. Um, there was a balance in so the way the money comes in is Ken pays the town and then that money goes into an account and then the money goes out of an account. So when the money goes into this account before it gets transferred to the reserves, it had a small balance of three thousand or so. So the eight thousand a year, which is available to Hyde Park Select Board for any purpose, not no strings attached, is combined just this year. Because Kim was suggesting we close that three thousand out. That's been like five hundred in because we kept the eight thousand flat. I guess. So with interest okay. and things, it's kind of built up to this three thousand miscellaneous okay. number. Okay. So she's hoping that we can kind of clean that out and yep. move those funds to the two reserves. Last year we used the. Highway Equipment Reserve Fund and uh, the Economic Development Reserve Fund. Didn't we? Didn't we take half that money and give it to the last year? Oh, that was the one time. Yep. Yeah. Every year you have to decide this. Yeah, we have to decide every year what we do. for the development. Yeah. yeah. Economic, okay. development economic Development Reserve Fund. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It was four and four last year. <clears throat> this year we have an extra three laying around for miscellaneous income. Oh. interest or whatever so Kim was suggesting we close out is that right. the temporary fund that takes the money right mm -hmm. so it's and usually eight but this year it's 11 right so you can decide what to do you have many different reserve funds oh, right. uh, we we probably should What's be doing more with the economic development reserve fund and we haven't really thought about that but that's a kind of a policy thing for you folks to well think about. that's right and hopefully out of this better connections just having read their economic development thing there's some interesting things there yeah, right, and that's really a better connections output is going to, you know, expect the town follows through with that stuff. So you, and you could put 11 in economic development. There's enough money next year to pay for the loader, but it gets really close to zero because we're not supposed to buy anything this year and wait for next year. So there's money for the loader and the truck. If you What's have a third piece, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> right. What's in economic development right now? Just the, just the four. I did 30. No, what the heck was that? I have that right here. No, no. That's I don't So we have, this is going back to February, but yeah. give you the idea. The um, economic development, 14,000. Yeah, Stormwater, 30,000. Highway equipment, 86,000. Fire vehicles, 94,000. Sidewalk, 102,000. And miscellaneous fire repairs and equipment is 18,000. 
So those are all the current balances. It's all reserve have. funds. Well, reserve funds. Right. These are our, how we're paying for things funds. Okay. No one will get hit with a loader one way or the other. Yeah. How about... <clears throat> You could, you okay. could do this. You could do the same for highway equipment, which is the four thousand now that you started last year, and we it, it, an extra four thousand is not going to help. But two hundred thousand dollars either. But economic development could take the balance of that account that Kim was talking about, which would put in about seven. And then I think we're pretty much going to be done going forward, except for the four and four. If you want to keep going that way until Ken's loans paid off in right. nine, nine or ten years. Which is the so he's got about, I think it's nine more years left of payments to the town. Yeah. Of 11,000 a year. Four, of eight. Of eight. Of eight. eight. Yeah. yeah, this got, is a one-time deal extra, with the 11, right. don't, yeah. So, but the hard part is we don't have an economic development piece yet because we're sort of in the planning process with right. the better connections right now. So I'll put it in a while away. Well, one of, one of the things Smart. the economic development says, for, well, it, yeah. Fire's pretty well funded. <clears throat> yeah, fire's in pretty good shape. Except for ha the heavy equipment is not. The, the repairs are fine, but the other's the second one. Do 50-50? <laughs> well, they'll be paying back that money on the uh, generator. Generators. No, sure, I mean, we took some money for that generator, we, why don't we just take part of that money and, and Generators on at least one of them, maybe. Yep. Come out. Yeah, you could, you could take the four and four, and then the balance of that account that Kim wants to close could go to fire. That, yeah, that would yeah keep, that'd be, yeah. That, that would keep up everybody okay. getting a little bit of. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Five. Yeah, yeah. That way. yeah it's a little over three. I don't know. It's not four, but it's whatever. That's Okay, let's let's do the to close it out. We just sort of have that regular split. Does the four and four, and we'll look at the extras. For the generator. Uh, yeah, for the generators. Yeah, that way, everybody's got some. And, uh, yeah. Perfect. Good idea. So I guess what we need is a. Yeah, it's a it's a motion Roger, thing. A motion to yeah. do that. We split the the four and four and the three. Yeah, three, maybe three the motion is split to four and four and three. Three, three plus balance. Yeah. Three, that balance. Yeah. Four, four going to the fire department. Right. Four going to highway. Three going to. No, the economic development. Uh, economic yeah. development and three to fire department. Yeah. Good. I second it. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. We're making Kim happy tonight. Move the meeting, close an account she wants. All right. Um, okay, review the minutes. And I think Kim said that the this interim fund has to keep a minimum of 250 in it. So balance of that for going to fire minus the 250 to keep the account open. Two hundred fifty okay. minus two hundred fifty dollars. Okay. And they can use that for stuff. Checking accounts, do we still have outstanding or open? Open. Still 12 or 13. We haven't closed any. I haven't closed any. I think we're we are making progress on the uh, restructuring of the office. So that's still on the it's not right. we're not gonna do it, it's still on the list of things to look at right. to see if it makes okay. sense. Yep. We're getting but there. It takes a while, yeah. We're getting there. I'm liking the part on February 14th that I opened the meeting at 3.03 a.m. <laughs> it was, 
That was a very short meeting. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> that was a special meeting we had. It's about 9 a.m., right? Yeah. <laughs> you must have been here by yourself. I was going to say it was a very short meeting. <laughs> going to come in and talk to us or is he happy with the plan? Can we make the plan work? It's not there yet. You're Who? talking with Paul? Yeah. Who's going to talk to us? Paul Gilly? I asked Paul to meet with me. Paul Trudell on the West Main Street. Oh. Lily. He, he, oh, was, the he, was, he was he was the no vote on the budget. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, no, he came up and told me. He said he's still, he's going to get these lilies sorted out. So we're working on the overall plan to get things done and moved and he laughed. He said he knew it wasn't any problem, but he's just okay. Okay. Line pickup has changed the time, so anybody that reads them goes what? You got that. Okay, and that okay, so the adopter that will be changed. Are you ready? Okay. I make a motion to um, to accept the minutes of February 11th. 14th. 14th. 26th. And the 26th, as printed, with the one change at the time. Okay. Second time. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Paul Nesky did a hell of a good job. He did. Yeah. He's good. He's good. And, and he's, um, he enjoys we, doing we, it. We chatted because they're like, you know, because they were planning on spending all their winters in Arizona. Mm -hmm. And then that's changed, and I think he's gotten involved with the co op. So, so they're spending more time around, and he's, He's happy to continue doing it, but as we're trying to find young people to come onto the board, he would love that he's going to help look for a young person to sort of bring into training to become the moderator. But he's he's glad to when he's here help us. How young? Well, that's I told, I told when when we're all talking that becomes a relative term. <laughs> mm. uh, one very into it youth. And I observed the town meeting day this year was Brian Shackett's son. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Over the top. Awesome. He was totally yeah. on he's not every article. To, he's yeah. not afraid to speak. Complaining about people not participating, complaining when they are talking too much. You know, very aware of the. Yeah. You know, this is great. How come they're not calling the vote already? We we already know which way it's going. Well, that was one of the things. I thought that was awesome. Who's in that? Shackett. Yeah. I don't. I didn't even get his name, but his son was sitting behind me at town meeting. He's yeah, he's I think he's 15, 14, 15. Yeah, he's been, he has no problem speaking. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I know. But very polite, though. Yeah, but very reason. polite, reasonable. Yeah, yeah you yeah. see you in the store and everything. It's just like he's known you forever. Yeah. yeah. He's going 100 miles an I mean, hour. I don't know him that I don't think well. I've ever, ever heard any residents like look at the <laughs> articles wondering what was going on. Then. Yeah, he goes to our church and everybody, he's 
knows everybody. Yeah. Nice kid. That's why I asked how, how young before. Yeah, right. If he needs a couple of years, maybe he could do it when he's 20 years old. Yeah, yeah. No longer serving town moderator. Oh, Roger, this is for you from Keenan. You can you can keep that. Swap it. Draw. One, one for each member down there. I just find that one. I did, didn't I? Yep. Just a Delego tax report from Kim. Oh, this is for our stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was all for Roger, but she made one for each of you. for that too because I think under the new structure that the Kim will be doing both the, we had split that pay into two parts mm -hmm. and I think she's going to do it all so she there's seven hundred fifty dollars a year that uh, oh right somebody was getting Kristen and I don't think Allison's been updated for that. but we'll talk to Kim if she's if she's willing to do that and, you know not have anybody else work on it right then we should adjust her pay yeah housekeeping thing <laughs> in the long list of housekeeping. I'll make a note of it though for us to follow up on. She was sharing that duty upstairs with um, yeah I think that I, I want to I just want to talk about it when you're ready things I have to do with Kim is she sent me a list of what we charge for a variety of license you know fees and licenses mm -hmm. and things and how some of them definitely need to be updated so while hmm, well now, now that now that we've moved to the third week now I'll, try, I'll be try between now and the next meeting to sit down and talk with her about you know, now, was it the state of Vermont's choice not to have us sell hunting license or was it Kim's choice. Oh, I don't know about that. I haven't been updated. We're not doing it anymore. Huh? Why are we? I don't know. What was that? Forever and ever. I, I thought all. That went under my radar. Ever since I was a kid, you always bought your. Yeah. Hunt license to town clerks. Yeah. I swear I see the signs up there. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I don't know. I know. Maybe we need She's to. She's been out making decisions. She's stopping that. Just like that. 
Well, Maybe we need a three thousand dollar reporting station, like for auto repairs. I don't know. Could ask her. Though. Ask her. Tomorrow. I got. Yeah. Well, I sat in this stand. I need to come that out. Up. I'll talk. I can yeah. talk to her tomorrow yeah. to get the more details on it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Make a motion to accept the town orders. Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Has anybody ever opposed to those? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because something just too much or not a... I think it was back in 93. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was something I opposed. It was come back, back with, when I was with Sunil and it, there was a discrepancy in what was billed and what was credited and stuff. Ah, okay. But yeah, but you can, right. And then you just you pick yeah. out a specific one. It's yes. not that you don't... Well, I think one, thing. yeah, one person or a majority could pull a check and then usually right, everybody exactly. goes along with it. Right. Yeah, so okay. You'd always approve it, I think, but mm -hmm. something might be pulled out and crossed out. Yeah, well, I think, right, we had a, yeah, I think uh, something that seemed crazy and we got that to, sort of To thing. not approve them all would be very problematic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, we pushed one like a $2,000 late. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yes. That, and that was one of those, that was a and great example of where the thing coming through wasn't there. Wasn't there. there right. wasn't, wasn't right. nothing. Right. right. That's right. Right. Yeah. right. Um, okay. Let's see. Well, some of this, the other business, the highway summer work plan, and again, we've, well, and, and, and talking about that, we're, we're right. There are a couple of things we need to, and so before it gets crazy, that we do need to sit down and chat with. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. You know about besides there besides the road plan, but it's also the cross training, and I think mm -hmm. probably what we should do and is sit down and uh, and maybe try to do this sooner rather than later. Is to I know, <laughs> here's the. <laughs> Your pen's after you, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> um, but to come up with a plan and then talk to Mark, but then I think sit down and talk to the guys as well. Um, you know, about here's what we're thinking and here's why, and it isn't anybody's not doing, but here's the, you know, here's what we want to do for the cross training, here's how we're going to do it, and we ought to come up with a plan, and maybe you and Ron and I should sit down and talk about it first and then talk with Mark and see what makes sense. Yeah. Ship it out to everybody because it's like, oh, oh yeah. it's March. Yeah. The only thing I, I want to disagree with you on that yeah. so is I agree with you 100% what you just said until you get to the point after we talk to Mark or talk to the road crew. Let Mark talk to the road crew because all we're doing is diminishing his. Okay, his, right. His, but but so, so we need somehow or other so they know. Have a sign off sheet. <coughs> okay, yeah, so, all right, sign off sheet, they know what's sorts, in it, yeah. or, or their thoughts, too, because yeah. they might, you know, have some very obvious, no, no, it makes more sense to do this, and, and figure out how, and, how well, to have Mark it. Mark can filter that, too. And yeah. their opinion. Right, yeah, right. Yes, yeah. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right, but to come up with yeah. that first one. Because what we want, right. yeah. what we want, yeah. we want you to, we want yeah, you to right. wear your orange vest when you're out of your trucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sign it now. You can hold them accountable because they right. recognized it and signed it. Right. But and and again, is the who, the cross training we need to do. Okay, who needs to be cross trained and what? In what order do we do it? To get all that sort of stuff done, so that that's a plan. Mm -hmm. And and again, because things get so busy, and then what you tend to drop off as well. They can't go to that training because it will. Well, no. If we're going to get this done, we gotta. It's got to be a priority, and we again sort of like maybe need to deal with some inconvenience to get yeah. the cross training done that will lead to more efficiency once we get it done. Yeah. So, sure. okay. Um, yeah. Well, we sort of started talking about the heavy truck traffic in the village. They've oh, I, 
wheels for the truck. So now, what size of trucks are they talking about? Dual wheels. No, dual wheel pickups, dual wheel trucks. Right. Yeah, because it's trucks. Tankers. And the, and the, and the, uh, right, tanker tankers, trucks. The big, heavy propane trucks. Headed to Morrisville. Yeah. They come I they don't know how they get across that bridge. They don't need to. They, they go to the barns that are on the other side of the river. Yeah, and that's where the propane tanks are going. The old deal barns down there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So they're going that way. The other trucks, I don't, mm -hmm. I have. Down to the uh, deal barn down Katie's Falls. The, the oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 yeah. oh, yeah. That's, that's yeah. where the, yeah. right. I think, oh, yeah. They can't get through Needle and they can't get across the bridge. Yeah. They have good in that way. There's only three ways to that property. No, they right, go but, they, but they were coming through a lot. And that, that's what it's like. What's going, you know, what's... And, and, um... The sheriff called the company at least twice. And they said, oh yeah, they take care of it. It would be all right for a week. And then it's right back to where it... To well, how else what, they what get... propane company? Uh, from Canada, right? I can't remember. Mm -hmm. what they, they're using that down there for staging? They, I, they don't have a bulk tank down there, right? Yeah. I, 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 I don't it, remember seeing Bob, Bob, isn't it Bourne's? Well, I saw Bourne's go through the other day, but it wasn't, it was somebody up in Newport. And I'm sorry, I don't, I... I can't, I can't think of seeing bulk, uh, you know, fill tanks. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, well, Dave can follow up with Roger. Yeah. Check out. Yeah. yeah. The more information we have, the better, because I don't, we don't really know what we're dealing yeah. with. Yeah, I'll ask them more with you. But, well, <coughs> and, and now, right now, Casella is, I think, I don't remember, we need to call Casella tomorrow and have him back, back that dumpster up so it's not blocking the sidewalk. Yeah, I, all I got was a, uh, a file number on your board. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see the picture yet. Oh, but yeah, yeah. Well, it's, because there's obviously... Where, um, what street? Was that Church Street? Yes, it's the old, old you know, Hershacks. They're obviously cleaning oh, it out. Oh, it's a house. Okay, right. So, they, so they've been doing steady... A big roll-on. Yeah. yeah. Had it oh. right out too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah right out across the, across the sidewalk, and there's <laughs> obviously plenty of space down there, so... I right. said myself over. I, I, oh, oh, I totally no forgot to call them today. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. I'll um, add to my list for tomorrow. But, but again, they're apparently back and forth, so there's a lot of that traffic, and of course they go zipping right down. The, and there's no, um, it seems as though they're going fast, but I'm sure with a big truck, you know, you'd have to be going that fast for it to seem as though it's going really fast. And it's certainly really noisy. Have we ever put a counter on any of those sites? Depot or... Mm -hmm. We have lots of traffic counts. We have truck counts, people counts, motorcycle yeah. counts. We have lots of counts. The, the problem is that it's a narrow road with houses on top of the road. And the road's rattling the houses and they could be going 30 miles an hour. Yeah, but you know, if it's it, a big impact. If it's a Town Road, which is federally funded in some cases, stuff. How can you tell certain people you can go down this road and certain people you can't go down that road? I'm not, I'm, I'm not even suggesting that you do that, but it's an issue, so towns have to figure out how to deal with it. Well, the only way you can and do it. And part of it can be the speed limit. Well, the only way to handle it is post the road for weight. Right? Right, but if they're delivering Plus to a speed business speed. entity, it might be a commerce, <coughs> yeah, commerce right. issue yeah. right. more than a road yeah. issue. One, we can assess them a fine or penalty for using the road overweight. That's another way you can do it. Right. So but we don't post our roads. I think we're the only town. No, but we, if we did, we could po lower post it you know, and have a higher fee for the heavier trucks. And, and again, what's interesting with the better, because this is obviously a hot topic, Better Connections is probably going to talk about all this and what the options are. And mm -hmm. say, you know, what do we, what do we need? To legally, do? yeah. Would yeah, be good. yeah. What, what can you legally do? And it's like, again, it's of course with the brakes, you can't, you can't say you can't use them in town because of federal and safety yeah. things. But as Stowe has put up, you know, sort of the please don't use, yeah. which 
I don't know if truck drivers pay any attention to that or not. <clears throat> when do you, uh, when does the town usually post their roads for mud season? We don't post them. Hyde Park doesn't post them? Good old, back to our dear old Ken, there's always Ken thing and people call me up, tell them they can go if it's frozen, they don't, they don't, but traveling with the roads lately, I've, I've seen different towns get their posters up now. Well, they should, yeah. be, up. They should yeah. be up normally this time of year. Yeah. And I yeah. think that's something we should, we should look at. Now you can't stop a milk truck from going onto it. No, you right. Can't, right. can't stop a fuel truck from right. going onto it. Right. But, uh, There's no certain way. things you can do to those trucks, but you can't stop them. You can no. have them go half load and things like that. Yeah, you can also make sure that they're on the road for a delivery at five in the morning instead of three in the afternoon. Yeah, which, which some there. towns do that. Yeah, like on the concrete trucks when it gets starts thawing out, you can deliver. I think that I, uh -huh. I, I think Kenny's approach was that we don't have a problem. Right. And I don't know if that's true or not. So. Well, I don't either. Because that came. <laughs> that came. It wouldn't make. It, it, go ahead. No, go ahead, Ron. I was thinking it, it wouldn't. It would make common sense that we're probably at risk of worse roads because trucks don't have to deal with our postings. Right. But I don't know if that's true. So that's my. Well, I know. From an actual, you know, what, what we're actually incurring for damage, if anything. I've seen a lot of truck. Two things. Seen a lot of trucks come down the North Side Back Road. Yeah. Because. It's not posted. That probably would have stayed on Route 100. Mm. Mm, okay. But, but that was a big issue if you remember right with uh, high seeds mowing when they wanted to, to go up there on McFarland Road and stuff. It was yeah. a posting of the roads for because he said he gets. Well, but numerous. then he found out we weren't posting, so yeah. he's happy. Yeah, <laughs> you know, he gets numerous trucks that time of year putting out his seeds. But he was having yeah. trouble because Morristown posted. Right. For Garfield, yeah. So that's another topic for discussion. This it's it's more involved than the posting right. itself. There's pros and cons to it all all around. But most towns do have a simple. It's just part of the things you do when weather changes in late February. You start posting your roads. So I've, April fifteenth. I've seen log trucks come right down through center of mid midday. Yeah. You know they're they're up in the woods. Yeah. And you saw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, oh, so uh, so the day after town meeting, <laughs> I had Ron start reach out to the elementary school to see about moving the moving town meeting back to the elementary school. So um, so we're beginning that process. I can't. I'd be surprised if there's any reason why we can't do it. There is. The um, Diane Riley is the principal said, oh, it's great. I think she even promised that as part of the result of right. the renovation. Right. right. But then you have the practical things that Kim and the election, which yeah. is the BCA. I talked to her on yeah. a lot of that stuff. So we're going to set up a site visit yeah. in the near future. So the BCA and the clerk and everybody can go and just see what the issues are, how you set up a folding place how you get people across a meeting in front of the people right. speaking, all those details of how that right. space works. So ideally you have like a separate room like we do now and everybody registers and they go and get their hand stamped and they go vote. In this place, they're, they're, it's not set up so they can be very close. It's separated by a hallway. So then you have people milling in the hallway and some people over here getting registered and then where do I go to vote? Do you have them, regist do you have them vote in the place the meeting's held? and walk across the podium with the select board sitting. You know, those kind of things. Some people do it all in the same you know, spot. The only place I could see where they could do it is moving the tables around in the library. Yeah, they, but I can remember when you used to have them back in. You gotta plan for 200 people. It's not yeah. easy to do. And that place used to be back. Of course, we used to have the school budget and things. Right. Like, so right. it used to be back. Right. But not having the select board up higher and the moderator up higher where you can see, you know, yeah. you talk to, you're, you're always trying to look around somebody and uh, uh, I'd like to see it back at the little school, but I think it's about Hander as a, 
Monday. And then you got who's gonna set it all up, the chairs, and we're gonna take the chairs down. Yeah. And I don't even know if they still have all them chairs. Cause remember you used to keep them under the stage. Yeah, right, yeah. right, Dal used to rule, right. But I mean, there's a lot of pros and cons, and which I don't think it, you can have the voting in the gym and have a town meeting going at the same time. Anyway, all those things. So that's a short summary of you know, who used to vote? Huh? the beginning. Where who used to vote? At the gym. You used to, have, you used to use the phrase great well, room. We just, we just, did we put it in another room? Yeah, you used to put it with the, the first grade used to be the first room from out of the gym. Yeah, right. And that's where they used to set up the, the polling. Yeah. Right. And, and then you had all the guys out there. back standing up talking while everybody was trying right. to, to go through yeah. town meeting. Yeah. Right. And right. I don't think you get so much talking this way here, but who knows? Is but I a, know you clown courts are used to tell them to quiet down and they would just forget it. Right. But it did deal with everybody coming in one door and getting checked. So that, what, what, so that once you, so that <laughs> so that once you were in, <laughs> you'd be checked in and your voter license would check so out. So it gets already. a little bit warmer. We'll do I think the sound yeah. in there was, yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. a lot harder to hear too. Is it we got to get out of oil? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no, no. Just somebody has the idea to, of, to bring well, it back to you. A lot of lot of the public really wants it back at yeah, school. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Back but, at the. You know, because they, they just could well because, I because it feels it up. that's right. That's right. Well, I've been actually I've been a lot of them would because it just feels more like that's Hyde yeah. Park where the high school yeah. doesn't feel like Hyde Park and people remembering that you know we used to have lunches and that's where you got your Girl Scout cookies and <laughs> you know all those sorts of things and that's just well, kind of me. They serve lunch. Kind well, of, well yeah, but you want to remember town meeting used to last till two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Well, now but, you, if it hadn't been for the, if it hadn't been for the Grange Hall, we'd probably been out of there less than an hour. I'm, I'm, it's, <laughs> it's true. And really? But, but sometimes in doing that, because it's shorter, like instead of starting at 9, you start at 10. You know, I mean, they're just, it, it's a whole interesting variety. Yeah. Of yeah. Things I think that'd that be on. good if you can get somebody to put on the luncheon. Yeah. Yeah, I would. Yeah. You know, these kids are always, I bought knives and I bought magazines. Oh, my God. <laughs> You know, help the kids go from yeah, yeah. sixth grade to exactly right. get through it. And and again, I, I, if you if you did it over at the elementary school, now the way it's changed, the kitchen is right there, and there's a nice kitchen. Okay, that, that could be done. Well, the kitchen's done. right next to the gym, so you're gonna get some. You're gonna get all the noise from the from the kitchen and stuff because yeah. it's right there. Well, you don't don't need noise. Is this is the second year in a row I remember. Voting is there at the same time as ball game. When I walked in there, I said, "Holy moly!" Oh yeah, well yeah. When all these guys come to vote. Well, yeah, because PA was using the gym that day, and they were lined out with the Christmas. I mean, the tournaments, the spring yeah. tournaments. Right. There's a conflict there. Yeah, yeah there was. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it'll be interesting. We'll, and we'll, they won't let them through those doors still. And you know that may be one of those six. things that everybody yeah. look at it and yeah. figure yeah. out yeah. the pros and cons. And another yeah. thing, we ship out on front porch for them and say, okay, folks, you know, here's here's what we found out. Here are the pros and the cons. And even you know, sometime in the fall, set it up as uh, okay. If you want to talk about if we want to move it or not, yeah. come yeah. on to a select so. board. And getting us started with it. the pros and cons is. Yeah. After yeah. that site visit, maybe. Yeah. 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 You want to get him out of here before we go? Yeah. Second. Okay. We go into that. Yeah. That's um, good. I'm not even sure if we need to. Well, we might because we're leases. Okay. I guess we're going to need to go into an executive session, so we'll we'll put it. We'll put a hold. We'll let you escape. And